Hey YouTube, what's up? I uh, just thought I'd give a little tank tour today since I'm home alone and don't have anything else to do. Um, this tank's been set up for about six months now. Maybe seven, I'm not sure I lost track. But, uh, got a few corals in there now. I got this candy cane back here. Mushroom, he actually picked up and left from this rock right there. I got these green star polyps. Record a mushroom. Yeah, that's about it for corals right now. And then, um, this little clown guy, I've had him for a while, and then I just picked up this Nasu tank. Probably about yesterday. Um, I know you guys are all saying, oh my god, that why is that in a 20 gallon reef tank? But, uh, don't worry about that. I got a bigger tank set up, which I'll show you in this video also. It's 160 gallons. So he'll only be in here for about a month and a half. And then he'll get moved into the other tank, you know, when it's all set up. And, um, yeah, I got snails and some hermit crabs. Mmm. My little cleaner shrimp that my stepmom named, named, uh, Jacques. Does a pretty good job of cleaning this, guys. Which, uh, if I can get that, I'll throw that in there, too. Anyway, so now, um, my equipment... I got two uh, 10 gallon little filter that I've had for a while, so I just threw it on there. I got my Aqua C 75 gallon protein skimmer. It's a backpack. Uh, it does a pretty good job of taking out waste. And I empty them out every other day. It's got a pretty big collection cup for a 20 gallon, so. And then um, just a little Aqua Clear 20 gallon filter. Does a pretty good job also. A lot of great biological filtration. Um and then this is uh, I think like a Coralia two maybe. Yeah, Coralia two pump. I don't have the box here. Coralia some kind of coral it's Coralia nano, that's what it is. So yeah, and then all my stuff's in here. Got a test kit. Um, this test kit right here. Um, the API test kit. You know, works okay. Get some okay readings. The only one that doesn't work too well is uh, the calcium, but it's close enough. It's a little. It's not very accurate, but so yeah, that's that's the only thing with that. Um. Anyway, we am going to go downstairs and pause this and uh, show you the bigger tank that I have set up. So that's uh, pretty much... Oh, my lights. Uh, these are Coral Life lights. I got them about two months after I got the tank. So um, it's probably in January. And it's uh, March right now. So yeah. Um, then I made this LED right here. This is just a moonlight. Went to Radio Shack, got some of this, um, let's see if I can pull it out. There you go. It's, uh, Radio Shack, it was like five bucks, it's this thing, it's a board. Got one of those square LEDs that produce, uh, more, <coughs> a wide array of light. And, um, soldered the wires in, a little reactor, or whatever the hell that thing's called, I forgot. And I just leave it running all the time doesn't draw that much power, supposedly it's going to last a long time, so, and it looks pretty nice with the lights are out. Anyway, oh yeah, yeah, let me pause this and go downstairs and I'll, uh, show you the big tank. Okay, so, this is, uh, the new tank. Let me close this and so get it out of the way. Okay, so, yeah. My uh, dad had his friend at work get some glass for us and put this together. Right now, it's got this really uh, weak aluminum frame on it. My dad ordered a, um, it was like $200, $300 stainless steel frame. It's going to have straps that go across the center. There's going to be three on the top and then four on the bottom just to support the weight. It's 165 gallons, I believe. And we're going to try to run a 55-gallon sump underneath it when it's all set up. Um, tank frame is supposed to come in next week. 
the guy that my dad's ordering from uh, got really confused, and he thought we wanted him to build a whole stainless steel fr or like tank as a fish tank, so he was going to charge us like two thousand dollars or something. So we got all that worked out, and uh, my dad's trying to get him to build the frame now. So he's a little confused on what he's trying to do. Anyway, yeah, so I picked up some bulkheads uh, the other day. Got three of them. Um, was going to use these and just leave this open like this and uh, choke it back to get the water level to stay higher than these bulkheads since they are like kind of low. They're about an inch below the surface, and I wanted the water level a little bit higher than that. So um, what we're going to do is just angle nine bees up like this guy right here. So these are just going to get angled up like this. And that's going to allow for a little bit higher um, water level and some surface skimming. And then we won't have to choke these back. And uh, yeah, so we'll get a little more even um, filtration. Now I got my two pumps. I got from uh, also the guy at my dad's work ordered these offline for us. I got a Model 5 500 gallon per hour pump where we were going to use it for a protein skimmer, but um, decided not to because we needed the. It's going to be a reef tank, so we needed the um, extra water flow. And then I got this guy right here, Model 18 1800 gallon per hour pump. And um, I do an alright job of flow. I'll turn that on and let you guys see. Remember, the flow is going to be a little bit less since they are um, right in the tank itself. But yeah, we'll probably get some nozzles for the top, kind of make it spray out a little bit more, get a little bit more water movement, and then um, we're going to buy some coralized pumps. It's going to be going across the top. It's going to be back in this corner, pushing water up, and then the other one's going to be in this corner, pushing water up that way towards the out or the intakes. So uh, yeah right now it's got fresh water in it. Just trying to see how it works. Um can't really fill it all the way up until we get that new frame. So for now that's what it looks like. And um hope to get it set up soon because I'm I don't know how fast that Nasso K is gonna grow. But uh hopefully he doesn't grow that fast because I really would like to get him in here and have him live. I, I didn't really think of that when I bought him at the pet store, but or the fish store. But I uh, hope we'd set up next month, let it cycle for a month, and then put him in here with all the live rocks and. and anyway, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of my little tank, this tank. Any ideas? Um, anything I should change? Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.